Hi everybody, George from Paintball Revolution here. You guys probably already noticed this fantastic mustache. Well this video is being shot in November and here at Paintball Revolution we're growing mustaches for the Movember organization to support men's health. But you didn't click on this video to talk about my handsome face. You're here for the TFX and that's what I got right here in front of me. So let's jump into it. So right away you'll notice that HK has included the XO case with all of their new loaders. This case is really a nice robust storage unit for your, your loader, as well as it's got a nice little pocket here to store your extra speed feeds, your rain lids, and that sort of thing. It's kind of a nice versatile case, a little, little inclusion there from HK. So here's the TFX, and HK is calling this the Combat Contour. It's one of the lowest profile hoppers on the market giving you a nice sleek design and, and a good low profile for your hopper. So turning it on is this button right here in the back and this second button in the unlikely event of a jam you can press this button and it'll force their motor system to spin and clear that jam. Notice that the light will not change colors when you press that button but it is working. Okay getting into this using HK's hyperlock system is really quite simple. Pop the lid, there's a tab here that moves out of the way and then a second tab that will release the top shell from the bottom shell and expose the internals. To get the internals out there's a front latch here that will actually release the internals and then they lift away from the bottom shell. Now if we flip this over you can see it, this does look a little bit different from what we're used to seeing, mainly these two AA batteries. HK has redesigned the entire electronics of this unit to be a lot more power efficient. One way they've done that is with this switch here. So when the unit is actually running and you do get a stop in the ball feed or a jam, this will actually switch the power off from the motor, preventing the motor from spinning and not just spinning freely or locking locking stop. It will actually kill power and conserve that energy. So that helps reduce the profile of the actual unit as well as use less batteries. So you just have to carry less batteries in your box, maybe in your exo case or in your gear bag, whatever the case may be. Now I want to show you guys some of the tension control that's built into this unit here. One of them is right here on the bottom. This little lever here, this three, three prong lever will actually control the tension on the upper paddle here. If you turn this unit as it steps up in these ramps here, it will actually step up in tension and create more tension on your upper, upper paddle. Now your second area of tension, let's move that back down is underneath on the lower paddle and to get to there we lift this lever up and turn it one one turn over to release the upper paddle and then the lower paddle as well as the gear cover are underneath here and we'll pull those out of the way and that exposes this tension control here this is what HK calls the tension slip ring. That will actually insert here in the gear cover. And there's a diagram in your uh, owner's manual that will show you which direction this goes for low tension and which direction it goes for high tension. You simply flip it over, reinstall it into your gear cover, and then place that entire unit back into the assembly. Put your upper paddle back on and then pull this center, center piece up and turn it again to lock everything back down into place. And that's how you adjust the tension. So that tension ring for the lower paddle and then on the underside here for the upper paddle. And you can really customize the tension control based on the kind of paint you're using. If you're using real brittle paint you want to have less tension. If you want something to feed real a lot better like 
dimpled paint, harder paint, or even reballs. All three of, of those types of paint, your standard dimpled paint or reballs, this unit will feed. So it's really robust and, and, um, and very efficient. So let me reinstall these parts so that you guys can actually see a couple of other really nice features that work with this loader. Simply snap the internals back into the bottom shell. Install the top shell from the front and then press it in place. Push the lock back down. So there's the unit reassembled. While I have it here, I want to show you guys something really nice. HK has a pretty good selection of Epic Speed Feeds for the TFX. These speed feeds come with the entire top feed as well as a rain lid. To install the, the Epic Speed Feed, there's a locking mechanism right here that you press down and then pull the entire lid out of place. Take your speed feed, slide that in place of the standard lid, and just push it till it locks in. Reinstall the shell, lock it down, and press your speed feed in place. So what's really nice about this speed feed is not only is it your standard feed for pouring paint in really quickly, but you also still have the option to open it, up, open it up and fill your loader maybe when you're off field and you need to get your paint in there quickly. So, like I said, this unit will feed pretty much any paint pretty quickly up to 22 balls per second. So let me show you guys that feed real quick. Fill this with some paint. This is just standard 68. Close this and I'm going to turn it on just by pressing this button. And there it goes. It's feeding your paint, like I said, up to 22 balls per second. And there you have it. No jams, full feed, no problem. Now, a couple of really nice features about this, this hopper. All of the electronics are waterproof. So if you do get breaks in there or if it is raining, everything should be fine. It operates on the two AA batteries, which we showed you earlier, instead of your standard three, four, even a nine volt in some, some uh, loaders. It has a 216 ball capacity. And as I mentioned before, it will feed your standard paint, any kind of dimpled paint you have, and even reballs. And the weight on this is, it, it's pretty light, as well as it's low profile. With batteries in, this unit weighs about 17 ounces. Uh, according to the manual, it's 17.03. Without batteries in it, it's 16.01, according to HK's manual. So these are a, a really nice option. They come in some really cool colors. All of that's available on our website at www.paintballrevolution.com. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Follow our social media so you guys can stay up to speed on, on what we have that's coming out and new releases from all of our vendors. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you in store and on our website. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.